Hi, I am Mecca Curtis, a certified dog behavior consultant in Sheboygan. I'm here today to talk about breaking up a dog fight. And one of the things, if you live in a home with multiple dogs, you should have a kit available and ready at all times because dog fights can happen at an unexpected moment. So in your container, you can keep blankets, gallons of water, you can have sprays. There is a citrus spray that you can use. But the point of me doing this video is I want to talk about breaking up that dog fight so you don't get bit. Okay, receiving a dog bite is very serious and it can be damaging for the person and sometimes even life-threatening for a dog. So your dog should have a collar on. Uh, there's reasons why we have collars on our dogs and that's to have access to handling them and controlling them if we need to. It's there for safety and control. Uh, many times uh, dogs have harnesses on. And that's a good thing too. But generally in home, they're not always wearing the harnesses, but if a collar is on, you still have access to that. Now, when a dog fight starts, you want to find the aggressor. The aggressor is the one that's going to be on the dog and into the throat. The, that one, you really need to have the focus on because it needs to be removed out of the fight right away. So we'll say that I don't have two dogs here. I wished I did. I need to get another one of these dogs. But we'll say that the dog is being bit into the neck. Now, there's this thing called wheelbarrow, and I'm fully uh, knowledgeable of what's going on here. The... Um, in a wheelbarrow, as they call it, people will go down and they'll grab the legs like this. Now, I have broken up dog fights. I don't grab here for reasons. Because if I grab near these, the knee area here and these paws and I lift up and there's a fight going on, this could be really damaging to the dog. And that's not really what we want to do. I've always went under the dog like this. And I hope you see, it's just like under the dog and I lift. So I still have control of the dog. The idea is to get the feet off the ground and start to gently move backwards away but you always want to be careful because as they're fighting it's really loud and you're going to want to stick your hand in there and that's the wrong thing to do so this is for like if you have two people to grab under and hold and slightly pull back take off with that aggressor the other person or you to take the dog out. Now, another thing about pulling. When dogs are into a bite hold, they, they bite and they hold like this. When you pull, <clears throat> it causes more damage to the other dog. And that's the same way with uh, being bitten by a dog. It's very painful, and if uh, the dog's holding on, if you pull, it's going to cause more damage to yourself also. So yes, if you need to speak to me about other equipment to use, um, that's a good time to talk to me. So remember when your dogs are into a fight, it's going to be very loud. They're going to be going down. They're going to be thrashing around. Okay, so we want to get in there and get out of there. 
So you're having that collar on. This is where you, you want to go. Not into here. Don't go into here because if you start going in like this, that aggressor dog is going to come at you. So fight, breaking up a dog fight can be very scary for people. I get it. But I've done it enough times um, to know that there are safe ways of doing it. And a lot of it is they're just into a fight. And the bigger the dog is, the stronger they're going to be. So have your kits on hand. Blankets you can throw over the dog to momentarily stop it and get them out of there. Citrus sprays. They can be used in there too. Trying to break that up. Pillows. They can be used between there. But as soon as the dogs are apart, you need to remove them away from each other and do what you have to do to make sure that your dog is okay. Um, how bad are the bites 